What up? It's Amaro94 again and today we're gonna talk about uh, defining what brand you're gonna have when buying Gunplus. So uh, I'm gonna show you a page that I usually go into when buying Gunplus especially uh, when you're trying to find some cheap prices. So when I'm talking about cheap prices, yes, these these are not Bandai. So the page you can look into is Gundam Kits and Accessories. So it's usually found in the Philippines, of course. You have meetups there. Let me just focus this one for a bit. So if you look at the photos by page, you're gonna see some uh, brands from here and there. But before that, we're gonna talk about, of course, the original and authentic ones. As you can see, we have here the Crossbone Gundam Mao, the Bandai symbol here. The one tip I can give to some uh, beginners when buying Gunpla, always look at the lower right corner and if it's not Bandai, you're not getting the original one. Another sample is Gundam The End, yet again it is Bandai. And lastly, the Crossbone Gundam X1 Folk of Type that GBFT, and that's of course Bandai. So I'm going to show you the rest of my collection. If you're going to look closely, you cannot see any Bandai into the lower right corners. See? So, back to my background, I'm going to show you again the uh, brands that you might encounter when buying Gunplus. For beginners, this is really, really important. So as you can see uh, from the top, you can see Daban Mega Size PG and MG. Of course, PG is the perfect grade and MG is the master grade. So, as you can see earlier, you saw some of my kits, which is Daban. Daban is one of the first uh, bootleg brands that you can encounter. So, so far, they provided a lot um, because they are the first ones who tried to be in a third party in making gun clubs. So another one which provides similar is Gao Gao. So Gao Gao is something like this and Daban is like this. So always remember you can look at the lower right corner where you can see the brand. So this is Gao Gao or usually known as TT Hongli. They are usually the same and Daban model. So those are the two first uh, brands that uh, have been entered and qualifying for making uh, a bootleg brands. I, I do not mean literally by qualifying because they are fake and um, they sell it somehow illegally. I don't know. I don't know how they work with it but uh, moving on, <laughs> so so the Daban kits and TT only kits maybe started around uh, years ago, and not too long ago. But uh, speaking of their own quality of kits, as so you can see, this is a TT only brand. This is a high grade. Let's start from high grade first. So from high grades, which is TT only, um, some kits are good and some kits are not. You, for me, I haven't found any great kits from high grade TT Hongli's and I can uh, prove that this will be uh, an issue tomorrow but still, if you are uh, somehow uh, have a lot of patience and some uh, maybe you can use your painting skills and other uh, techniques you can apply to your model maybe you can um, consider it so for Daban high grade, I don't have any of them yet, but um, I, I'm assuming that they have uh, somehow slightly better quality than the high grade of TT Hong Lee. But we're, uh, we're, if we're talking about uh, master grades, that's a different story. So about master grades of TT Hong Lee versus Daban, um, some kits that they have, especially uh, some kits that TT Hong Lee have, uh, which are the new ones if we talk about the new ones of TT Hongli they have really extremely poor uh, quality 
course, in panel lining, the plastic quality, and yeah, the, that's usually like it, but it's really uh, disappointing for some uh, fans out there. So for Daban, I think the only issue that they have is also plastic quality, but not that so uh, bad uh, compared to TT Hongli. And so far, Daban is still alive and still producing new kits. And I was uh, updated that there will be new um, new kits coming. Uh, I think the new ones that came this month was, I mean last month was the Ale Strike Gundam re version remaster and uh, I think the Double O Quanta, I'm not sure, but they, they are quite uh, producing new ones every month or every two months. Unlike TT Honley, maybe they stopped producing, but they still have uh, a hefty amount of products of bootleg brands. So enough with those two. Uh, I'm gonna show you new, uh, new or other alternatives. And if we look at the SD here, as you can see, this is uh, not Bandai. And you can see they have fake uh, names there. So you can see this is the Burning Gundam, right? Or the Slash God Gundam. But you cannot see any logo into the lower right corner. But if you go to the upper left, <coughs> you can see uh, QY. That's QY. I don't know what the hell does that mean, but this is QY, Chinese brand too. This is also QY, the Night Gundam. And this one's different. This is not a QY nor Bandai, but it's a Guniki. And its brand or uh, brand logo is on to the upper right corner. So another brand that I can show you is this one, the Hainu Gundam. Yep, it is Gundam to prevent um, issues unlike the TT Hongli and the Daban. So in this brand, this is MC model. If I can focus that here, it is MC model, model comprehend company. And and lastly, the Stolgis is not Bandai too. It is Dragon Momogo. So you can see it has a different box there, and this one. Um, has a different story too. So if we're gonna talk about those three brands, um, the QY brand, uh, I think they only provide SDs. I don't think they provide other scale kits or other style of kits. I think they only provide uh, SD. So for the Dragon Momoko, they provided uh, some, but they haven't provided too many kits so far but they they are still alive and still producing new ones so for dragon momoko <laughs> i can tell you that um those two kits i mean those two brands the mc model and dragon momoko um, provides very great quality and very great results unless you don't if you are not very comfortable with their plastic their plastic is great, the details are great, the panel linings are still there. And the only problem is the I think the plastic is quite soft, unlike the Bandai. But if you are careful enough, yeah, that's not that's not really a problem. So for the SDs, back to the SDs, the QI brand, um, you can uh, encounter them with just an SDs. And the quality is still good, but the plastic is cheapish, but not not that bad against TT Hong Lee. So if we're gonna talk about uh, other brands unlike uh, the brands that I don't have yet. So I'm gonna show you this one again. So you can see this page, you can like this page also. If you are from the Philippines, you can uh, search from them. So uh, as you have seen. Now this one, I don't have this one, BTF brand. So the BTF brand, I think they have provided some um, kits such as uh, double fin funnel, double fin funnel custom unit, custom fin funnel unit. I I don't think so, but those two fin funnel uh, units um, provide psycho frames, unlike what Bandai has. So they also provide. 
Gogo model. Gogo model is also under TT Hongli, and they provided much better uh, quality. And Hobby Craze also provides head busts. So I think that's it for the brands. So always remember, um, TT Hongli it has low quality, and but the, uh, some of their master grades are really good. And I can, if you have, uh, you can personal message me on my page, Gundam Reviews and others. You can like that also. So you can uh, give me a personal message or a comment on one of my posts. So in Daban also, I think the number one fighter here in the third party companies is Daban for me. Uh. So uh, next is the Model Comprehend because they make their own uh, style. I mean, resin kit or something. They make their own scale, but I don't. Think even though they say in their box that it is a 1144 scale, I think they are in 1122 scale because they are quite bigger than other kits in 1144 scale. Just like the Hainu Gundam that I have shown you the box earlier. Uh, that, uh, when I built that, I think that was quite bigger than the high grade version of the Bandai. So, from the Dragon Momoko 2, they also provide high grades and uh, Master grades mostly, and yeah, they also serve great quality. And of course, I'm just telling you this uh, advices because some people might not be knowing this and wants the original version. And what if they get uh, the bootleg and still paid for the Bandai price? That would be unfair. So this one is quite important for you to know. So yeah. For more discussions and reviews, um, you can like and subscribe this to my channel and also you can like this video, like my page too. And before I end this video, let me just put aside Stargazer Gundam because I got two new uh, kits today. I think not really a kit but I have two new uh, Figmas. This is not mine, uh, this is from my friend Paul, again he just provided me these two figmas so i can make a review out of them thank you for my friend thank you for the support so yeah that's it guys the, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel peace